All right, welcome back everybody. Uh, if I sound like I'm out of breath, it's because I was trying to beat the sunrise. And uh, if you see these holes, um, if you guys seen my last video, uh, I had a crazy multi-species day. I have fished three other places and got my butt kicked every time, drilling hundreds of holes. Uh, sweat my butt off and it's like five degrees this morning. Um, so what I'm gonna do today I'm determined to see if I can get something here. Uh, I'm gonna set my shack up because it's only five degrees outside, so you're gonna probably get some shack video. Uh, I might even do some of the uh, my sonar videos uh, because when I do this, uh, when I do the shack thing, I can keep it warm in there and put a camera on it, and it won't just die because it's out in the cold. Um, but I'm gonna set some tip ups up. Uh, I'm hoping it's still early enough. I might get some walleye. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna see what I can pick off for today and. Uh, and comfort in the shack so stay tuned hopefully this place is still going to kick out some fish there's no reason they should be here but they could be so fingers crossed if you're seeing this i got some fish I'm gonna set two tip ups today because I'm gonna be fishing in the shack. So, figured get these guys set up real quick. I'm gonna put one by the shack and then one away from the shack. I don't know if it makes a difference. Something seriously chasing my minnow right now? Or my treble hook? <laughs> well, this shouldn't take long. Place your bets below in the comment section if I can even make it back to my shack after I put this guy down. <laughs> I have a feeling that something's going to eat this thing right away. <laughs> Rickard, he hit it right away. I didn't know what it is, but that was quick. I didn't even get to... Oh, it's a small mouth. <laughs> it wasn't even down there for five seconds. <laughs> Just got down there and this guy ate it. All right, get out of here, buddy. Let me go back to the shack and warm up. All right, uh, <laughs> let's see if we can even get this set. Well, there's definitely fish down there, but I really want to get my other line in the, ru in the water over there. All right. The goal is to try and get both eye fish pros in, but I don't care if that's the problem today.
<laughs> okay, that's ridiculous. I just uh, I just hand lined that with just a bare hook. <laughs> <laughs> Today's gonna be a ridiculous day. Does it count if you don't use bait? I'm keeping some fish today, so that's gonna be number one. That's a, like a 12. Oh, leg. <laughs> Thought I heard that. <laughs> Still on there. This poor guy's been hit like three times now. Flag by the shack. Flags everywhere. <sighs> Drop. Getting my exercise in this morning. Still there. I'm going to do the open barrel technique. I think these are crappie doing this. The thing is, unless they're super aggressive and downing it, uh, it's hard for them to pull the, the bait feeder. It's meant for more of a, like a game fish bite. So I'm just going to do open barrel. It's not too breezy out yet. So, I put the slab wrap on the Tuned Up Customs Precision, but I have my Commander with me, uh, which is my bigger one. So, I'm going to throw one of these bigger baits down there in hopes to get me a little bit bigger bass, maybe. There's supposed to be some really big bass around here, like five pounders. So, I think that'd be fun. But first, I'm going to take this slab wrap and try and get a couple of uh, crappies because I want to keep some today. Oh, here comes one. Screaming. Got him. Oh, and if you guys noticed, I got a double hole here. <laughs> So that I can, uh, ooh, what is, is that a crappie? That feels like a bass. Oh, just a good crappie. That might be on the upper end that I keep. But, as I was saying, I have a double hole here. And that's a trick I learned a while ago fishing, fishing spots like this. Yeah, it's a 12. So I eat up to 12 and a half basically is my, my range. That's that's a perfect eater. And it looks like there's more down there uh, on the bottom. So I'm gonna throw this guy to the side real quick and catch a bunch of them. Let's go. Oh, already got a couple of them racing. This guy's gonna hammer it. <laughs> Sick.
Oh, that's like a frickin'. <laughs> I stunned him, so I got him. You never see that happen again. Came up the other hole. Well, since the GoPro was off, I've uh, collected at least one more. I don't know if you saw the other one. It's on now. <laughs> so let's uh, let's stick a couple more. They seem like they're pretty pinned to the bottom. You get them racing and they commit. <laughs> Cookie cutter 12s. These are the perfect eaters. And I was actually told to pickle some of these, so I'm going to try that. See how many I can get from this spot. Oh, coming back. Yep. <laughs> this guy's digging. Look at those head shakes. Is that a bigger one? A little bit bigger. That might be a 13. I gotta get my tape out. Just under 13. I'll do 12 and a half. Oh, well, this guy's gonna pound it. He's coming quick. Hit it. It's swinging a mess. Wonder if I can get him to come back. Coming back. Flag. <clears throat> yep, I fish pro. Fish on. It feels good, whatever it is. Oh, it's a big smiley. Bigger smelly. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. It's cold out here, so I'm going to get them back right away. I don't want to play around with them. When it's cold out, you want to move, move quick with the fish. There you go. Right back. That was cool. <laughs> It'd be fun if I got a four pounder of those. That was like a two. I gotta reset my iFish Pro, but there's fish down there. I just got back in here. Wasn't even paying attention. This guy came up. Bam! Oh my god. <laughs> That's like a 15. That is a huge crappie. He downed this thing. Glad I dropped down. <laughs> that was probably a 14. Yep. 
14 and a half. It's going back. I don't keep anything over 13. No reason to. There's a beast. That's a 14. 14 and a half, actually, almost 15. She's a big girl. Going back. Got flag right here. <laughs> Doesn't feel big. Oh, and it got off. All right, time to reset the iFish Bros. Apparently. Okay, so there's already a fish down there again. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the other one set. I got a couple of guys coming in. <laughs> I'll let it go. <laughs> I just set this. Fish on. Pretty good, I don't know what it is. Another smiley. This guy ate my other minnow. That's funny. It's a little guy going back. Bye. Can't turn your back on these things for one second. Okay, I'm gonna try to jig some up. I'm gonna use the number five rip and wrap. I'm gonna try and use it real carefully, see if anything bigger eats it. I already have seven or eight keepers. Oh, here they come. Somebody's gonna smack this thing, it looks like. Let's see if this guy smacks it. Got him. He actually feels like he might be big enough to uh, eat this thing. Oh, well, just a 12. But that's a keeper. I'm going to have to get my uh, little calculator thing out and start counting these guys. Let's see if we can get another one on it. Oh, here comes one firing up off the bottom. That guy didn't hesitate. What is that? Just a little guy. Look at that. Big bait little fish. coming up. I think I'm going to have to put the, the 
some different bait on. Go back to the slab wrap. Oh, I got one coming. Come on. Should eat this one. Yep. This feels bigger. Because it is. That might be a 13. Just under 13. I'll let this guy go. He'll be a 14 sooner than later. We got this guy flying up. Oh. Second guy took his place. Just had to drop down a little further to get him back. Spunky. Another keeper. I think that's ten. Oh, this guy's flying up. Come on. Wouldn't wouldn't commit. Oh, another one? That was a more vicious hit. A little bit small. Let that guy go. Looks like I got a couple big ones on the bottom again. Let's see if they come up. There's no way this guy gives me three chances. He gave me three chances. <laughs> Thanks, big guy. Another keeper. Oh, and he wasn't even barely hooked. Alright, give these guys a break for a second. Check the iFish Pros. Always check your tip ups if you're fishing tip ups because neither of them have gone off in a while and they were doing crazy numbers before. So that means there's probably no bait on either one of them. Well, actually, there's a school down below me that just moved in. I lied. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can stick another one out of this school real quick, and then I'll give him a break. Um, I want these guys to stick around so I can get enough fish today. Oh, got this big guy's attention. This guy was moving. It's a crappie, it's a big one. Oh, okay, that's why. <laughs> First large mouth of the day. Swallowed that thing. Got me all excited. I thought you were my 15. Alright, now that these guys are here, I'm going to go check my tip-ups. <laughs> I literally just knocked that loose and there was a fish on it. And 
know what to keep a crop. <laughs> oh, go figure. That's funny. I wonder how long he's been staring at it. <laughs> Trying to decide whether he's going to eat it or not. And this is why you check your tip-ups. Well, it would appear there's already a crappie on the bait. the tip-ups are set again let's uh let's try to get some more eaters out of the shack it's a little breezy and cold out there hands are getting a little slow when it's uh tip-up setup time might be another bass kind of feels like it, the way he hit but could just be a really big crappie It's just the crappie. Oh, it's actually an eater. Hit pretty hard. Oh, you go right down by them. They get crazy fast. That was cool. <laughs> Been staying away from the bottom, but I just kind of let this thing free fall. This guy shot up from the bottom super fast. Another keeper. I think I'm gonna do. Uh, I'll do 20 today. That's 40 fillets. That's that's plenty. But then I won't keep any more for a while. Flag outside the door. Gotcha. A little too small. Well, tip up set again with some new bait. Gave these guys a break for a little bit, and it looks like there might be a couple back down there. And that would be awesome. I'm currently at 14 crappies kept. Got my little counter going. See if we can get some more real quick here. I'm not going to fish all day today. I'm just fishing pretty much the morning bite. Or whatever you want to call the morning bite. And uh, going to get out of here sooner than later. Got a long drive back and it's supposed to snow. Just had to go down and get them. See how big this guy is. About 11 inches. That's a good keeper. Oh, here comes a big one. Oh, that was a good hit. Let's see if I can get him to come back. This guy's coming up. He ate it. I 
on the little guy it would appear I might have to do some hole hopping in this wind it's pretty windy outside you guys probably don't hear it but definitely blowing out there looks like there's a couple of them down there again that was a good bite <laughs> That guy dropped my tip pretty quick there. There we go. Another keeper. Bite it. Got him. Oh, came off. Okay, now that my hands are sufficiently frozen and my missed fish, I'm back in the shack to try and capitalize on some more. Hopefully, I left them around alone long enough. Um, I think the big thing here is this spot holds them but it shuts them down if you beat on them too long so had to move around a little bit I had a couple of them come up or a really big one I think it might have just been one really big one coming back well that's really big whatever it is Oh, okay, that's that's a that's probably where why all my crappie are gone. <laughs> Fat little bugger. It's like a fourteen, fifteen. That scared all my crappie away. That's what's going on. <laughs> Stupid large mouth still fun but I would much rather catch a crappie that big that's that's a heavy fish for how short he is okay surprised I didn't get one of these sooner but uh this would explain where all my crappie went to <laughs> like 15 inches I'm gonna put them back it's still fun on a jig pole All right, guys, uh, that's gonna conclude today's beat down on the crappie. Uh, most of you guys should know I almost never keep fish. Um, that was literally only 15 crappie, um, but there were 12 to almost 13 inches long. I think the smallest one I kept was 11. So between tw uh, 11 and 12 inches is what I normally keep if I'm gonna keep them. That was 15 of them and uh, they're gonna taste good. Plus I just talked to somebody that said I should try pickling those and it sounds like a good idea. So I might do half of those pickled. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I've been doing these pickled fish lately and they've been turning out really good. So I'm gonna try this next, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. It was crazy to, uh, to think of how simple it was for me to just come out to the same spot we were at uh, earlier in the week um, where I got all the multi-species stuff and that was a fun day too. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll put it at the end of this one. 
that was a great time. If you guys just want to see fish being caught left and right, uh, I had the same thing over there. But today was just all about getting some crappie to eat, and I did. So, like I said before, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, can you please just remember to 